holiday, already off to a violent start in the Elm City. New Haven police are investigating three shootings, two of them deadly. And the first happening in broad daylight, the other two just a block apart and under cover of darkness. News 8's Kent Pierce is live on Division Street, where there's still an active scene, we understand. Yeah, Anna and Jeff, there is still police here investigating those last two of the three shootings yesterday. They happened, police say, right at about the same time, a block apart. Police say at about 1028 last night, they found a man shot in the stomach just halfway down that block. This is Shelton Avenue. At the exact same time, they say, they found a man shot to death on the front porch of a house just halfway down that block. That is Division Street. Now, the first person I told you about who was shot in the stomach, he is identified as 26-year-old Courtney Jackson. He is expected to be okay. He is in stable condition at Yale New Haven Hospital. The person who was shot to death was identified as 19-year-old Errol Marshall. His passing makes two people shot and killed yesterday in the span of about 10 hours. The other shooting happened just 10 hours before the events I was just describing for you. 12.30 p.m., police responded to the area of 85 South Genesee Street. That's near the McConney Terrace Public Housing Complex, up near Route 15, near the West Rock Tunnel. The person who they found dead there, 23-year-old Brian Gibson, and they have a description of a suspect in that shooting. Police are looking for a dark-complexioned black man in his late teens to early 20s. His hair was braided, and he wore a blue and white baseball cap at the time of the shooting. If you know anything about any of these three shootings, you're asked to please call the New Haven Police Department. As for the two that happened here at the same time, a block apart, police say it's still too early in the investigation to say for sure that the two shootings are related. We're live in New Haven. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.